Like an incredibly persistent rash, Love Island is back. And who better? Oh, f and who better to watch it with the ma than a man who's no stranger to a rash, Mr. SDI himself? It's Stephen Tries, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. Woo! Uh, Didn't stumble over it at all. No, no, they're, they're tricky words, but your third take, you nailed it. Yeah. That's what you guys don't get to see. Uh, are you a big fan of Love Island, would you say? I was there from the get-go. The very first series, I was a, I was an OG. Well, you were on there. And then, <laughs> just a camera operator. <laughs> <laughs> just the, stood there with an erection. Just oh, looking yes. over the fence. <laughs> What's this? Oh, shit, there's cameras. <laughs> It's an educational show. I'm going to teach you about these people more than they want you to know. First up, we've got Rushi. Rushi? I don't know how you say her name. I'll be honest, they're very boring people. She's quite small, around five foot four. Also, we haven't even addressed the outfit. This is me ready for the villa. My name's Rushi. I'm 24. I'm from Sutton and I'm a beautician. We have a group chat and it's called Rushi is Single. <laughs> what a hilarious what? group chat name. The amount of times these Love Islanders say literally I mean, I mean, in this case, she has actually used it correctly, but who cares? It's not that unbelievable, is it? People don't expect me to be, like, so fiery because I'm quite small. They might feel like they can try me, but don't try me. <laughs> she just threatened everybody before she goes in. And, and small people can be angry. I mean, of course, we revert back to Chris M.D. Um, One of the angriest men I know. Horrible, horrible little tone. Mm. Yeah. Warwick Davis, I imagine he can get... <laughs> You know, quite aggressive. Yapping at your shins. Get away, Warwick. <laughs> Look at Grumpy from Snow White, you know. These people have a threat record. <laughs> so, like, FBI's. Like, we'll find out things like like this. <laughs> like, you won't even know. I'll know your grandma's name <laughs> already. <laughs> That's a hell of a threat. Please, Ruchi, no. Don't know my grandma's name. She just guesses Joan for everyone. <laughs> you, I mean, you did get it right. You did get it right. I'm right sometimes. The person that had the description of her, she's possibly five foot four, we'll let you know. Realistically, she should be on that team doing all the investigation, finding exactly. the details. She would she's know. She's that. a journalist, is what she should be. Not a beautician. I'm not saying she's doing a bad job at being beautiful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she comes on. I'm a beautician. No, 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 no. Journalist. <laughs> Get behind the cameras. I'm looking for love. I want to find my person, you know, like I want to grow old with them and like, you know, have kids and grandkids and a dog <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> nothing was said. I learned nothing about that girl there. This Love Islander has already shown us a big tackle. <laughs> Oh. But what could it possibly mean? The footballer says four game ban was so worth it for horror tackle on Love Island star. Oh. That's not a four game ban. Tyree, this <laughs> is. It feels like I'm doing a true crime YouTube video. <laughs> Tariq Hyde, who was announced for the hit ITV dating show earlier today, played for Loser. <laughs> Lose? But they can't be very good, hey? <laughs> My name's Tyreek, I'm 24, and I'm a semi pro footballer from Essex. You could say I'm a player on and off the pitch, you know? He definitely didn't come up with that line, by the way. The producers just went, so you could say you're a player on and off the pitch? And he went, what? <laughs> but one time I was on a date and the girl fell down the stairs and I just couldn't look at her the same ever since, man. What? <laughs> she fell down the stairs, you know, I can't look at you anymore. No, no. Yeah, she doesn't look the same Loser. in her wheelchair. This next contestant is the daughter of soap opera royalty. I'm going to show you who it is, and then you're going to guess who you think the soap opera star is that they're related to. Oh. Oh, Kim Marsh. I know that. No, it was Janet has appeared on the cobbles three times playing different medical oh, roles. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> royalty? Soap opera royalty? That is, genuinely, I didn't make any of this up. When you type in Love Island 2023, click on news, that is one of the first ones that comes up. You come into the video and go, you look very familiar. <laughs> you don't by chance know the nurse from Coronation Street in 2005, do you? I don't think I'm dramatic in my normal day-to-day -day life. I think it's quite chill and very family orientated. I live on a farm with my mum, my dad, my grandma, my granddad, my auntie, my uncle, my cousin, cousin's husband, baby, and chicken. It's the Emmerdale farm. Her mum's just working again. <laughs> Got a new role. She, just, she soap opera hops, switches between all different roles. <laughs> I'm gonna make it onto Emmerdale. You'll see. I think my life is a bit of a fairy tale. I am definitely Ready to meet my Prince Charming. They're all quite bored. <laughs> I just added this in the edit. They're all quite boring to be honest. Couldn't find anything about this one. My name is Andrea. I'm 21 years old from Birmingham. 
and I'm a business owner. That's vague. The amount of girls that I've made fall in love with me just by speaking Portuguese to them. It's like me, kind of, the amount of girls I've made fall in love with me speaking English. <laughs> Eu adoro rub, I love bum bum. I think this guy may have got his age incredibly wrong and he's actually three. I love bum bum. Can I have bum bum? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, how did that line not work on the English? Of course he has to piss off to Portugal. Any toes that I've got to step on? Sorry, but I'm gonna have to tread on. Oh, but oh toes? I thought he said any tools. Like a cartoon, just gets on a rake. <laughs> the last few years they've, they've had to make this sort of shitty metaphor for having sex. And that's really like ruined it. my wanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up, what do they mean? <laughs> Which one's the court judge again? <laughs> Do you have any sandwiches last night? Yeah, the few. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, I had a coronation chicken. Oh, what? I only <laughs> had a. I don't know, fucking egg and cress. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. Just say, there is no way ITP have asked you to come on the phone. Oh, me? Egg and cress. Any girls want to come and have a little bit of egg and cress with me? The next Love Islander has a has, 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 has had a high profile <laughs> acting role. They didn't have a stutter, I just added that in. I would say I'm a bit high meaning. Sometimes I just feel like I'm living in my own movie and I'm the star. Do you know what this acting role is? Uh, I do, because I put it in afterwards, but I've completely forgotten, which I think shows the calibre of what the acting Robots. I'm so excited to get in the Love Island villa, you know, meet some new talent, hopefully some above six foot guys that are going to- Oh, piss off. <laughs> piss off. There we go, look, the 23 year old model is no newcomer to the line, having been previously picked for an appearance in a music video by Heady One and Burner Boy. No wonder neither of us knew where she's from. <laughs> My name is Mitchell, I'm 26 from Sheffield and I'm a gas engineer. Gas engineer, does that mean he trumps a lot? <laughs> Farsi boy, hey? Uh um, I bet those Calvin Klein stink. Thank God he didn't just tuck it into the waistband before they asked him to do this, by the way. He's like, sorry, I'm, do that? I don't know if I can, guys. People see the handsome face, the good body, the nice car, the good job. Did he say nice cock? No, nice car. Sorry, the camera angle's really thrown me off there. I love female attention. It's what I literally go out for. I love being a flirt, it's just fun. But I'm 100% a relationship type of guy. As soon as I'm out one, I want to be back in another one. Ooh, are we talking about women or relationships? <laughs> he loves to flirt, but he, he wants to be in a relationship. Make your mind up, you turd. <laughs> um, George, what I really want to see is your... Beating. Fine, okay, oh, I'll do it as well. <laughs> Cock in your waistband. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! It was a callback! What do you want to see from me? You know, your intro when you go, Hi, I'm George. You cool, you cool opening phrase. I, uh, I don't know why I've introed it like a, a Bond villain. They don't do that, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll do the little dance. They stand up, don't they? Yeah, I, just, I, have to, that's nice. I have to look like I'm standing up. <laughs> but the camera's <laughs> slow. Let's go. Hi, I'm George. Um, I'm 23, and I'm a. I'll make videos on the internet. Okay. <laughs> and what happens? Do I get a date? When do the women you come You've got to give it a bit more energy. I don't know, Stephen. This is demoralising. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm Stephen. I'm 27. I can talk the talk, and I can poke the poke. You know. That's what you gotta go for. <laughs> and then it cuts to you sort of shoulder shimmy in and- A lot of people think I'm arrogant, but I think when they get to know me, they realise I'm actually a nice guy at heart. I just seem arrogant. I don't know if I believe him that he's not arrogant after teeing up with the handsome face and the chiselled bloody godly good looks and he's just stroking himself the whole VT. You know what's gonna happen? He's gonna end up crying at some point on the show. But this never happens before. I usually just go like, I have like a threesome every night, I swear, man. <laughs> They should do that. They should have like the secret virgin in, in one of these. Just just every time they go to the hideaway, they're just like, oh, I, I, I'm just not feeling it tonight. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I think I did my, did my hip in that challenge earlier today. <laughs> I've just I've got board games in there. You've got Scrabble here. Eh? You can fuck any time. You can only get a triple word score once. Massive heart, I'm thriving being a gentleman. I'm being brought properly to just treat women right. I've got my sights set on love. I'm going for a girl. He sort of panicked then when he did that. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't quite get it right initially. I love. I'm going for a girl and <laughs> no one's taking that. Not, not quite a connection. It's, it's slight, yeah. He's actually just a big fan of Mo Farah. Just a really small fan <laughs> of him, actually. So that's quite a creepy sentence. I'm going for a girl and no one's taking her off me. 
God, mm. possessive. It's the mantra of every man in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Going in for a girl, no one's taking her off me. I do not look this glam at work. Well, I'd hope not, you're in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> it depends where she works. Could work at Ocean maybe Beach, she's a lifeguard. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. I feel like even turning up as a lifeguard in just a bikini would be a bit odd. What if it's casual Friday? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where the hell, I go to new beaches. <laughs> so I've basically been single for ever. It's quite bad. <laughs> All I do is situationships. When I flirt, I just have to give people the eyes. Open. Honestly, I've, I've, I'm trying to think of things to say, but they're. They're just all the same. Well, Not particularly this contestant, as in <laughs> all of the contestants are the same. George, she's given us the eyes here. How do you feel? Oh, that explains it. This isn't actually a standing <laughs> desk. <laughs> People the talk Irish. about the female gaze, don't they? And I don't mean lesbians. Nice. The female gaze. Uh, Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I've had people say to me, just send me voices of you speak, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> What's your favourite accent, Stephen? I am fond of the Irish accent. Look, there I said, I, I admit it, I am. And like, Northern Ireland, it's a bit more aggressive. Yeah, right there. Hey there, George. Ooh, uh, no, stop it, Island. Stephen. I've told you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George. Hey, George. Oh, You're God. a cheeky man, Mr. Clark. <laughs> like the bloody inspector on Piggy Blinders. <laughs> Master Shelby. <laughs> Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Kill me, Thomas. I will be funny. I'll be myself. You love me. Nice. Feel this. Boyfriend material. Uh, disgusting already, oh, just horrible. Hate it. Any God. man that says that sentence seriously is just yeah. People that people already, that just repeat things you. they've heard as if they're really funny. Fuck you. Yeah, honestly, people that repeat things that they've just heard because they think it's funny. I'm George. I'm 24 years oh, old. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> oh God. I'm George. I'm 24 years old. I'm a business development executive from Bedford. Such class. They've, they've always got one where they think they're like the cheeky chappy of the thing, but it turns out they're just loud, they laugh at their own jokes, and they're a wanker. So, if I'm chatting to someone a little bit older, 40s, 50s, I can start talking about bingo, but wherever I'm talking to someone sort of 20, 22, 23, I can talk about TikTok. Fuck me. Hey, look, I can pull any man. I, I look, man. <laughs> I can pull any girl. Look, she's into bingo. I can talk about bingo. <laughs> what is that a flex? Bingo or TikTok. That's it. That's all he's got. Might as well call me Bradley Walsh because I just love the chase. Oh, fuck off. Just fuck off. <laughs> what? Call me Ben Shepherd because that was the tipping point for me. Call me Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, it sort of sounds like terrible. Meet the girl in my dreams and just start cracking on. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's every love story, isn't it? You find the woman of your dreams and fucking crack on. Look, a bit of a juicy goss, Stephen. I found this. This was one of the <gasps> oh, um, nice, nice. one of the articles that kept coming up. This is a TikToker's ex uploaded like a year ago. I don't care how Cheat. Narcissist. Begged her for money and never offered to pick up slash spit a bill. Uh, Is that him celebrating afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> another, <laughs> another bill not paid. <laughs> Controlling over what she wore and put down her appearance. Has low standards because he's... She's talking about herself. What does that mean? I know he has low standards. But he's with her. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Friendly fire. <laughs> Does anyone care? <laughs> not really. Someone who's not a good kisser, that is just not for me. <laughs> Why does she have to clarify if you're a bad kisser, that's not her type? Look, if what, you're not very good at making love to me, I don't think I want it. You're my kind of guy. Terrible hip thrusts, no rhythm. I'm so excited to go in. I actually am ready to settle down and have kids and probably get married. I want to be the- She wants to do all of that on Love Island. I'm excited to go in, <laughs> settle down, have kids and start a family. <laughs> the, the baby's gonna have to be premature, but I'll do it. Hi, my name is Mehdi, I'm 26, and I've been single for over two years. I'll tell you why, because you're, you're Mehdi. <laughs> nice. There you go. That'll get the 12-year-olds. Not that that's what I want. I think that's how I win them over. I always get what I want. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. So he, he stinks of the first week out, doesn't he? I thought you were going to just <laughs> say something very, like, stereotypically French then. <laughs> just, he stinks of baguettes. He stinks of cheese, him. I decided to be in the villa because I could bring fire and make girls fall in love with me. They already have a fire pit. 
So love Island knowledge. That's why we brought him on. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother watching this series. No, I don't think I will. Although I think that might be the reaction after every single Love Island VT. I mean, I know they've got the clout of the woman that was in Coronation Street three times, but her <laughs> daughter at least. But uh, I don't think that's enough to draw me in. But if you enjoyed, give me a like and subscribe. Go subscribe to Stephen. You probably already have. If you have, unsubscribe. Um, and I'll see you <laughs> in another video in the future.